guys, this is Kevin from Bucket Plastic. Uh, this is my first time sort of meeting you guys, but today I'm on the way to test my rock, paper, scissors spin top game. I'm actually going to this place called Colab. It's spelled Q-O-L-A-B. It's apparently this sort of new co-working slash co-gaming center. So companies or indie developers, they can go there and they can work together and they can also test out their games. I was just doing some uh, research this week looking at possible places to do like test drives of my game in person. So I'm actually on the way there right now in an Uber. And yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect because I think it's an it's just sort of it might not even be open yet this year. This might just be like a temporary or like pop-up location. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I, I'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes. So I'll let you know. Alright, so I'm out of the Uber now and I'm walking to the spot. Um, he dropped me off like a block but right before, I don't know why, but uh, that's fine. I think I was annoying him with my filming. Ooh, fancy. Oh, am I supposed to do this? No, this is not what I'm... I'm looking for someone named Joshua. Oh yeah, he's actually downstairs. He'll be up shortly. Just oh, okay. Sure, thanks. Alright, so Joshua's here. And uh... I guess he's downstairs, but I just want to show you the spot. This is a pretty nice looking location. They got water... And it's like a hotel lobby bar kind of thing. There's like outdoor seating. Wait, is this gonna open? No. Art. So I'm just gonna hold on, focus. There we go. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Um, I'm kind of early. I I think the event starts at 12:30, but um, it's like what time is it now? It's 1:30, so it's like it's like an hour later. Bear with me if I become sort of ADD because this is like the first time I'm. I guess you call it vlogging. It's something I wanted to try doing, especially because you, know, you guys have been asking me so many questions and like wondering. Um, What's your name? Kevin. Looks like I'm the only one here right now. Um, according to the RSVP, there were three other people besides me coming. Oh. Cool. So, guess this is the, the spot. <laughs> Thanks. Just top rate. Cool. Aim it top rate. Thank you so much. No cool. So, they let me down here first since uh, no one's here yet. Um, but actually, maybe I should start from the beginning. And this is the the meeting area. And it's all for me right now. <laughs> Got good old chess. This looks like hockey of some sorts. There's a TV, some cool couches. There are some classic board games here. Twister, Trouble, oh man, I haven't played that since. I used to have to take like ESL classes even though English is my first language. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have the Simpsons version of Clue. I think that one's so much cooler. Scrabble. Oh man, these are like really taking me back right now. Yeah, this is a really nice area. I guess it's just me for now. So, still here by myself. Um, not sure when this event's gonna get started, but for now I'm just gonna hang out. Um, there's some really comfy sofas here, and they got pillows. Uh, it's actually really good because I might get sleepy later since I binge watched all of Defenders last night. I've watched every single episode, it was so good. I'm getting kind of bored here, so I'm just gonna watch some TV. like one of my this was like the marvel movie hold up you see me this was like the marvel movie that made like the whole franchise just blow up because it made like superhero movies 
not feel like it's just a regular superhero movie like it was real story sorry i'm just like geeking out over here by myself but yeah one of my favorite marvel movies captain america winter soldier hey uh so i've met calvin here he's also a game designer yep so we found out that the event was supposed to actually start at like three or something yeah it usually is at 12 30 but it changes uh, so we decided to just grab a bite <laughs> since uh they don't really serve food there so this is like a deli next to the hotel it took us 10 minutes to find this deli yeah we walked like to a papa john's and that was just crazy <laughs> that was a silly idea yeah i think we were just we were just what not sure what to get yeah and um, he's working on this two-player card game. Yes, two-player card yeah. game. Check out my website, overrealmgame.com. Awesome. Check out the cards. Overrealmgame.com. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. But yeah, I'll show you later. We'll probably play it together. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't mind, I'll just like film a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. We'll check in with you after we get our fight. Absolutely. Things instead. Because I play all of this and they get... Okay, so I go first, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So mine is fast. fast. Yep. So exhaust a target minion and gain one power token. So right now, he's dominated six? Yes. I'm trying to figure out, like, is it worth pursuing as a game concept? Yes, or yes, yes. It is? A game concept, I think, in the sense that you... It depends on how... What it is. I mean, right. what? Does it come with a card? Is there a card and that card means something with it? And it's kind of like Jax, where it's like, at some, like, you can keep spinning more of these as long as there are still, as long as none of them have stopped. So I just, I want to build it in a way that's not overly complicated, but plays to its strength and doesn't just leave it all up to chance. I mean, like, once you say, like, this is a rock, paper, sizzle, dreidel, it like, yeah. There's like something so immediately, you, you get it. It's like, right. oh, I get this a, 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 a million percent. I get this. That's kind of more interesting in some ways, is that you use it as part of an area control mechanism. And so you have a handful of these and you have a minute to like look at the board or whatever. And then it's like, okay, if there's two guys in a zone, then you resolve the rock, paper, scissors. And whoever has more guys yes. left over is the winner. Yeah. So I guess my game is sort of in that like Jenga theme or whatever, right? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, except that like, I think where, the reason why I'm suggesting that you make it something that's, like you could obviously just make a game where it's just like, it's kind of like Jack. Hey guys, this is Kevin again. Uh, sorry that the video cut out right there. I actually ran out of memory card space on my camera. I'm now filming this uh, two days later and I just wanted to sort of recap what happened during that meeting. I got this really good insight as to how I can expand my toy design into a game design concept. I wanted to give people something a little extra to do with my toys rather than just make it, you know, this one-time rock, paper, scissors spinning uh, game. I went to this event because I don't really, I'm not really a board game designer. I don't really know all these like strategy things and, you know, how to make a game fun. So it was all these like abstract concepts that I'd never really come in contact to because I've only been in the toy world. But now I'm branching out into the game world and it's, it's just so interesting because I'm learning about all these new things that I never would have thought about. I'm definitely going to do these events more often. I think I have still have plenty to learn, but I think I have enough um, ideas that I can create a very basic board game prototype. We sort of touched upon the idea that this could be a rapid fire rock, paper, scissors match thing where, you know, you keep spinning them and as long as you know one top is still spinning you can still take it on and try to beat it you're trying to control these territories and it's like one area might be a rock based area so like you have to you have to beat rock to get that territory or you know you can try to take uh, an opponent's territory by battling their top i think that there's something here and um, i want to keep it light and fun like i said i want to play to the strengths of my top so that the initial fun of this rock paper scissors element isn't lost but I still want to bring something new to it that people can enjoy. So it's not just the top anymore, but it's, there's a whole game that revolves around the top. I'm gonna come up with some ideas. I'm gonna try to create a very basic prototype and I'm gonna bring that to the next play test. And I'll definitely show you know the feedback that I get from there. I'm really glad that I did this event because it just helped me branch out and learn more and network with people. You know, and we all have this sort of 
joyful element. You know, I was so happy to see that, you know, as soon as they saw this and they realized what it was, they were like, oh my God, that's so fun. That's so new. That's so cool. And I want to bring something new to the table. And I hope that you guys will be able to join me on this journey. These vlog style videos are kind of new to this channel. You know, I'm just experimenting right now since my channel is still in its early days. I really did want to give you guys a brief look into the process of, you know, how I go about uh, researching concepts and developing my toys and you know sometimes you just go with the flow and you come up with new ideas that's the most interesting part about being a designer is that you know sometimes you create something with a particular intent or purpose but sometimes the design takes you somewhere that you never thought you would these tops have brought me to all these different places and helped me meet all these new people sometimes i feel like i'm the one learning from the tops you know it's like they are creating me kind of weird to think about but you know that's just that's just how i feel sometimes you know these guys are just helping me grow as a person i really like the the concept that you know simple day objects can help bring about a change in people. And that's kind of the reason why I make these things is because, you know, if I can bring a little bit of joy into someone's day, even though it's just a little knickknack, you know, it's, it's not really, you know, changing the world in any way, but it just brings a smile to people's faces. And, you know, I just want to make stuff that makes me happy and makes other people happy. Watching my videos and supporting my content, that also makes me extremely happy and I'm super grateful for that. So I'm going to try my best to come out with content more regularly and um, just keep communicating with you guys along the whole process as I grow my toy into something bigger, I hope, one day. So thanks again for watching this video. Um, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely have more videos coming out soon and I can't wait to show you more. So thanks again, guys. All right, so before I sign off, I'm going to do that gacha top giveaway that I promised. Uh, basically, if you're a subscriber and you liked and commented on my last video, then you are entered in this raffle to get a free set of gacha tops. So I'm going to take the URL of that video and plug it into this YouTube random comment picker. And then uh, once I hit that start button, it's going to start the raffle and pick a random winner from the commenters. So let's see, who's it going to be? Dun -da -da -dun. Winner is Koalakanth. I hope I'm saying your name right, but congratulations, Koalakanth. You are the winner of the August Gacha Top giveaway. I'll be in contact with you shortly to send you your free set, and I hope you enjoy them. But uh, yeah, thanks again to everyone who participated. If you didn't win this time, don't worry. I'll be doing a giveaway each month. Just make sure you're a subscriber and you like and comment on at least one of my videos. So yeah, thanks again.